In Germany, trademarks are administered by Das Deutsche Patent und Markenamt or DPMA. Now remember that the German Trademark Office refuses to accept any language other than German in all correspondence, as well as for trademark filings. So better brush up on your German when dealing with the DPMA. Now, if you do attempt to correspond with the DPMA in English, they will usually not respond. However, in one instance, they did respond to my office and proceeded to scold me for attempting to communicate in English. So you can see that they are very serious about this subject. In addition, a very important fact about the DPMA is that the applicant must be a German national or company domiciled in Germany. Otherwise, you must have a local German attorney as your representative when filing trademark applications in Germany, which is understandable as the German is the official language of the DPMA. However, this will result in excess time in retaining a lawyer and higher overall filing costs. On a positive note, it is not necessary to pay the DPMA application fee at the time of filing a trademark application and you will still obtain a priority date of the filing date despite not paying. After applying, provided that the DPMA does not object to the registrability of a mark, it takes between three and six months from application to registration, depending on the workload of the office. However, it is possible to request accelerated examination of the application in which the DPMA will then examine an application within six months from the application date. The application is normally done online, however, the DPMA does accept paper filings by mail or fax. The official application fees are 300 euro for up to three classes, e-filing 290 euro and 100 euro for each additional class from fourth class on. For accelerated examination, the office charges 200 euro and there are no official registration fees. The DPMA uses the international classification system. Provided that the application fees have been paid, the application will then be examined as to absolute grounds for refusal and whether the list of goods and services complies with the NIS classification and allows for proper classification. There is no examination regarding relative grounds for refusal, namely potentially conflicting prior rights of third parties, and if there are no absolute grounds for refusal, the trademark will be registered. No use has to be claimed before registration is granted or issued, and proof of use is only required if the applicant claims that the mark has acquired distinctiveness through use and within five years after registration of a mark, it becomes vulnerable to cancellation on the grounds of non-use if it has not been used genuinely for the goods and services for which it is registered unless there are proper reasons justifying non-use. Opposition proceedings in Germany are post-registration proceedings, and a third-party opposition is possible within three months after publication of a registration of a mark. The initial period of registration for a mark is 10 years, starting on the application date and ending after 10 years on the last day of the month of the application date. Registration may be renewed for 10 years by payment of the renewal fee of 750 euro for up to three classes and 260 euro for each additional class from the fourth class and renewal is available for an unlimited number of 10 year periods. No proof of use is required in order to obtain renewal of a registration. For more information on filing German trademarks, please visit www.dpma.de. Please feel free to watch more of our videos to get valuable insights about the mechanics of applying for trademark registrations, defending your marks, opposing other conflicting marks, dealing with office actions, and many other intellectual property issues. My name is Jonathan Morton and I am a licensed U.S. attorney and a member of the Trademarkers Network. Don't forget to subscribe.